Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chantel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a collective haul of a couple of the things I've bought recently. Everything from shoes, accessories, down to clothing. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased, please keep watching. So the theme of this haul is glam, glitz and glam, okay? Because literally everything I purchased is either glittery, sparkly, or it's just like super glam and girly. So I made my first purchase from Meshki's website and I have to tell you, I am completely obsessed. Like, I didn't know what to expect. I thought it would be good quality, which it is, but honestly, it's 10 out of 10 in my opinion. So this new like diamante thick diamond strap trend that's going on, let me show you because you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You know how everything has like diamonds now in this thick strap. Anyways, everything I bought from Meshki has that kind of design on it. So I'll start off with this one. Oh, maybe I should start with pants so I could show it to you with pants. Okay, I take that back. Let's just put this back. In a previous video, I did do the Dynamite versus Aritzia faux leather pant comparison, and I ended up returning both of them because they both had equal issues. But I went back and I got another pair. So these ones are the Aritzia Molina pants, size zero in tall. And this time I got them altered. So it took in the waist, so that gap issue I had in the back before, completely gone. And the length is perfect. I'm gonna throw them on, show you guys how they fit, and I'll also use these pants to show you how the tops fit when I'm trying them on. So this is how it looks from the side. So you can see now there is no more gap at the back. They fit perfectly. They look really great. They're super comfortable, super warm, especially like for wearing them out in winter. And you would never be able to tell by just looking at them that they're not real leather. They look super real and they look really high quality because they are, I won't spend too much time to show you guys these pants because I do have an entire other video of them. So I'm gonna move on. Now we're gonna talk about these mesh key tops. I'm gonna start off with this brown one. Let's see if there's a name. This one is the Leah Diamante Chain Halter Neck Crop Top. So I got this in an extra small and the only thing is I'm a little bit disappointed because it is still too big. I've said this in other haul videos that I do have a very small upper body. So even when I get extra small, it's still sometimes too big, but it's such a nice top. It has this little Diamante halter chain. Anyways, <laughs> it's just like kind of twisted at the front and it's just a little tube and it's really nice. I'm gonna throw it on and show you guys how it fits. Maybe I can get like those little like sticky chicken cutlets to put on the inside. My only thing is like, what if they fall out? Might have to glue them down, but I'm gonna show you guys how they look with my leather pants. I really love this top so much and I am planning on wearing it with or without the chicken cutlets eventually. So this is how it looks at the back. It just has a very like narrow bandeau style and then it twists at the front. It does have a zipper here so you can zip it up until the top point just to give you a little bit of extra room if you need it to pull the top on. Um, and it has like, let me try and be very careful with this, rubber right here so that helps it to kind of stick to your body when it fits the way it's supposed to fit. Do you see that? So when you wear this on a night out, this is what it's going to look like. Just glistening. It's so beautiful and the camera seriously does not do it justice. The next top I'm going to be showing you is another Meshki top. So this one I actually already wore out, so it doesn't have the tag on it. I'm going to have to find it and I'll link everything down below. So it's the same Diamante style, this thick diamond band that goes down the center. Unfortunately, this one does not have a zipper at the side, which this is the one that I actually would have preferred to have a zipper on because it is a little bit more difficult to get into. I got it in extra small and how I put it on is just from the bottom and I pull it up because putting it over my head is a little bit difficult, especially if you have your hair and makeup done, then it's just like impossible. And it is very tight, so getting it over these um, linebacker shoulders is not easy. So, like I said, I've already worn this before with these pants, actually, so I'm gonna throw it on and show you guys how it fits. 
so I'm not even exaggerating when I say this. I have never in my life received so many compliments on a top. Never. I mean, I don't mean one or two people. I mean, I had person after person after person after person coming up to me asking me where my top was from or just telling me that they really liked it. So it's so simple, but if you could see it at night, it looks beautiful. It just glistens and it's something different than just getting a plain black tube top, right? I just wore it with these black Molina pants and I wore it with a black blazer on top and the outfit was just super cute. Next up, I'm gonna show you the handbag that I actually wore with this outfit. So I bought this from Shein. I'm sure you've seen this style of bag in literally every single store you walk into. So it just has this little knot right here. It has a double um, thing. You can adjust it to move it down or move it up however you like. The only thing I don't like that shows it's cheap and that it's from Shein is the way that it's stitched. So do you see how you can see the zipper insert here? So in fashion school, I remember that we used to have to like buy our own zipper and bring it to school because we had to like make clothes and whatever. And this is exactly what the zipper would be. You just like a long thing and then you sew it on, but you're supposed to sew it in a way that covers the fabric. I guess they couldn't be bothered because they're in a rush, they're mass producing and they're miserable. It actually fits a lot, like it fits my phone, fits my ring light. If you want to bring a wallet, it fits like an entire wallet or purse, whatever. So it does fit a lot and it still looks super cute and just very delicate and girly. You can wear it to a club, you can wear it to dinner. I've worn it literally everywhere. I'm obsessed with this bag and I'm going to wear it as much as possible before this whole diamante trend comes out. So this is how it looks on. You can see the size looks very small and delicate, even though it fits so much. And I like that it folds because it gives an illusion that the bag is actually smaller than it is. And again, when you're wearing this at night or in the evening, it just glistens. Let me see if I can show you guys an example. I don't think you guys need me to explain to you how diamonds shining in the night works, but just thought I would show you anyways. Now, since I've already shown you guys two of my Meshki tops, I'm gonna show you a dress that I bought from Meshki. I am so in love with this dress and I have no idea where I'm gonna wear it. Like, I don't know where I'm gonna wear it. I need to go to maybe Greece or somewhere or just, I don't know, dinner in Paris, somewhere that I could just dress up. So it's called the Margo One Shoulder Midi Dress with Diamante Rope got it an extra small and it's just a one shoulder cut out black dress it's kind of between midi and maxi length and look at this detailing oh my gosh look at that and then it just falls guys this dress is beautiful let me show you up close so it just has this like rope intertwined lace diamond effect thing going on and then it has this slit here. I'm gonna throw it on and show you guys because me just saying it's beautiful over and over again means nothing. Like, you just need to see. And even on video, I know it's not gonna do it justice. So for some reason, it's showing the glistening in the bathroom, but not in front of my ring light. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys in the bathroom what it looks like. It looks like the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> I love the cutout here. It's like not too much, but it also makes sense because of all the triangles and the shapes. And then it has the slit at the leg. Yeah, so it's very much on theme with the rest of the Diamante Meshki theme. They have so many items on their website with this same trend. And I just love it so much. I love it so much. It looks beautiful when you go out and I can't wait until I get the chance to wear this dress out. So like you guys would have seen in that clip I just showed, it goes right before the ankle. So it's not maxi, but it's also not midi because it is a little bit longer. So it's somewhere in between there. 
but it's just really beautiful and I love it so much and it's really easy to get into as well so I just step into it I step into this part too because it is attached here it's a little bit difficult to put the top on and then step in so I just step into the whole thing pull it up stretch it from the back so that you're not stretching the diamonds because you don't want to destroy it but if it is too tight guess what it's like an interlaced lace so you can loosen it you do have that option so that's it for Meshki. We're gonna be moving on, but we're sticking with the theme of sparkly. I'm gonna show you guys these pants I got from H&M. So funny, I actually just saw Nina Dobrev post a photo wearing almost identical pants to these for New Year's. It's just these pants from H&M. They're super inexpensive, $19.99. Got them in extra small. This is what they look like up close, but they literally just glisten. Like, they're just, gorgeous pants so it does have a flare leg which is one of the things that I'm obsessed with I'm gonna try them on and show you guys they're super comfy super stretchy let's see how they fit I guess because I need a top to try it with I'm just gonna try it on with this meshki top these are what the pants look like they're just super sparkly I love them so much Let's see if I can add a little extra glisten. Again, these are the type of pants where if you are to wear them like on a night out or an evening. Oh, what's going on with the ring light? And I really do love the flare, the bell bottom. It just adds a little something extra to it. And I'm really like, and I'm just really surprised by the low price point. Like I would think this would be something that would be a little bit more expensive. Next on the try on list is this blazer I got from Shein. So I actually bought this exact blazer in a different color before. I bought it in turquoise. I had that in one of my previous hauls and I loved it so much. I went back and got it in this color, just like a camel, khaki. I'm not obsessed. <laughs> Like in my mind, I imagined it to be nicer because you know, you see influencers and bloggers wearing this color blazer and you think, oh my gosh, they look so nice. But on me, it just, I don't know. You can tell me what you think. So this is what it looks like. Oh, why are we so zoomed in? So it's just an oversized blazer. So you don't have to get it large or anything. Just get it in your regular size because it is so long. So you can see that it is pretty oversized. So when I wore it, I just wore it with a black sports bra and high-waisted black flare jeans. <gasps> I forgot to show you these jeans, hold on. Okay, so I completely forgot to show you guys these jeans. So I recently bought these two. They're Refuge Denim Slim Flare. They're from Urban Planet. Got them in a size one. They have a flare um, foot with a slit at the bottom. Let me tell you guys, these are the best jeans I've ever bought in my entire life. And I bought a lot of jeans. I have never had a pair of jeans fit me so well. They have stretch, they're comfortable, the length is perfect. I bought a pair for my mom too, and I wasn't sure how the size would fit. It fit her like a glove. It was, it's like Sisterhood of the Traveling Jeans. I could have said Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, but anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna add them in the description box below, and I'm gonna call them Miracle Jeans. And these are the type of jeans, I just want you to take a chance on them. Just try, just try them. You know what? I'm gonna show you how they fit. Just so you guys, because you probably don't believe me, you probably think I'm rambling about these jeans. I don't know what convinced me to go in and get these jeans, but I did, and it's the best thing I ever did in my entire life. There's no gap, but there's still a little bit of room. They're super comfy. The flare bottom is flared, but not too flared. Like, it's kind of perfect. Next up, I'm going to show you this pink blazer dress I got from H&M. It's really beautiful. The color just really pops. It's something that I would wear maybe like to a dinner on vacation or something. Just like a nice dinner. $49.99. That can't be right. It's an extra, extra small. I think it was the last one. That's why I bought it. And it was definitely on sale. So don't trust that price. And oh, some earrings from Aldo's. I'll show you guys. So I'm gonna pop this on and show you guys how this blazer dress fits. This dress makes me wanna just start singing Barbie Girl because it's so cute and just bubbly. Makes me feel like a Barbie. It fits like a glove. 
The color is so beautiful and it just fits really well. I'm like trying to get low so you can see everything. Sleeve length is perfect, it's comfortable. You know, can't go to the gym in it. <laughs> the material is really thin, it's only one layer. So it doesn't have like lining or anything. It's a very thin dress. So again, good for vacation because that means you can breathe in it. Um, but the structure of it is really great. And it just has two buttons that hold it together. I was watching some reality show and there was a girl who was wearing a blazer dress. It looked really nice. She was going out and the commentator said something about like her being ready for The Apprentice. And now I can't get that out of my mind every time I put on a blazer dress because I think blazer dresses are really nice, but do some people think they look very businessy? I don't know. I would wear this to The Apprentice. Next, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Aldo's. So I got a bunch of rings, but I also got a pair of earrings. So the stackable rings, you know, they're always great. I think these are super cute. And then just like a bunch of them with different... The main star of the show are these earrings I got. I have never been so obsessed with a pair of earrings and they're so simple yet they look so beautiful. So this is what they look like. Just these very thin like U-shaped earrings. But when they're on, let me just show you guys actually. They just look so beautiful. So, I've been really needing a pair of just normal, plain, open toe, nude heels um, with a heel that isn't too extreme. And I found these. I found these at Call It Spring, and the heel is pretty low, and it has a square toe, which is really in. Got these for $54.99, and honestly, I think they are so comfortable. I always say this, Call It Spring has pretty comfortable shoes, in my opinion. So they're really nice, um, very comfortable, and I always slip out of all open toe shoes that I wear. And these ones, so far they seem like they're pretty good. I haven't worn them out yet, but um, I'll keep you updated. I really do love them, and uh, I think they're just a really good purchase. And the color of nude as well. You know how most nudes are like basically a peach? These ones are brown, like a brown nude, so they're just so perfect for my complexion. Well guys, that's it for this video. I've showed you everything I've purchased recently. If there's anything you have any more questions on, leave it in the comment box down below. I'm gonna be linking everything in the bio, so if there's something you like, go ahead and click on it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, so next time I post a video, you'll be the first one to see. Bye guys.